హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ దిస్ ఇస్ శ్రవణ్ కుమార్ మంత్రి టెక్నికల్ ట్రైనర్ వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ సిఎస్ఈ గురుస్ యాజ్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ ఇన్ సీ విల్ నౌ గో ఫర్ ఫంక్షన్స్ ఇన్ సి నాట్ ఓన్లీ కాన్సెప్ట్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ వీల్ సీ ఆల్ దీస్ టాపిక్స్ విత్ రెస్పెక్ట్ టు ఫంక్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ ఎస్పెషలీ ద నైన్త్ వన్ వేర్ ఐ కెన్ గో ఫర్ రికర్సివ్ ఫంక్షన్ విత్ రెస్పెక్ట్ టు సమ్ సెట్ ఆఫ్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ ద సింపుల్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ హౌ యూ కెన్ మేక్ ఇట్ విత్ రికర్షన్ హౌ టు గెట్ దట్ ఐడియాస్ సో దట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో వీల్ సింగ్ బిఫోర్ వీ స్టార్ట్ వీల్ ఫస్ట్ యాజ్ ఎ క్వశ్చన్ వై వై ద ఫంక్షన్స్ ఆర్ నీడెడ్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఫంక్షన్ వై ఇట్ ఈస్ నీడెడ్ వై షుడ్ వీ రైట్ ద ఫంక్షన్స్ ఐ ట్రై టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ దిస్ విత్ రైటింగ్ ఐ ప్రోగ్రామ్ విత్ అన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ లెట్ ఎస్ సి హియర్ హియర్ ఐ హ్ రిటర్న్ ఎ ప్రోగ్రామ్ I think you can guess what is this program. It is about getting a factorial of a given number. If I give n value as something like 5, anyway we'll get uh, like uh, it takes f value is equals to initially 1 and it goes i starts from 5. So 5 up greater than or equals 1, yes, up is true and uh, f equals to f into i which is 1 into 5 which is 5 only. Uh, next time i value will become 4. Okay, it starts from 5, it becomes next 4. Uh, f into i which is 5 into 4 which is 20 uh, next time i value is 3 and that is f into i previous f value 20 which is 20 into 360 next time i value 2 so 16 into 2 120 uh, next time i value 1 120 into 1 again 120 will have and next time i value is 0 is, is it 0 is greater than or equals 1 absolutely false so comes out and prints what is f value first of all we'll try to execute is it correct or not i'll try to execute so i have to give the value 5 yeah you are getting 120 here you can see another thing anyway you can give the values you'll get the answer that is absolutely fine now my question is i want to take uh, what is a factorial of another variable another value let us suppose i'll take m m is a variable and i want to get what is a factorial of that number so what in general we do in general the code whatever is the logic our logic starts at line number uh, right now it is six right so initially in the line number three you have declared the variables in the line number four you are reading the n value from line number six up to eight so the logic is there and once the logic executed you are getting the value of f and getting the value is printed in the ninth line same thing i want to do for another variable which is uh, what if if i write what is the factorial of m first of all i need to read the value so i'll read the value percent ld uh, which is m percent m what is m value i'll take first after that f should be again initialized to one because for factorial of n f value final it is 120 but in order to get for m variable again you need to start f with one and you need to start for i equals to m i greater than or equals to 1 i minus minus where again f equals to f into i so once it is done you want to print it what is the factorial which is percent ld comma f so if you clearly observe here the line number 6 up to 9 which is used to find what is the factorial of n line number 10 up to the last you are you want to find what is the factorial of given variable the value m so that's what here you are writing the same logic for two way two val two, two different values let us see anyway the execution first if i give something like uh, 6 the answer is 720 uh, if i give something like 8 the answer is 40320 so that is also 8 factorial you are getting here but here my intention is to explain like the same logic why should i write two times you can see line number six up to line number nine you are getting the logic for finding the factorial of n and from line number 11 up to 14 you are getting the factorial of another variable m so writing the same logic two times why should i make it instead i want to write a logic in a single block and i want to call that logic two times so let us see how it can be done uh, I, I, here if i give two values now here i have given a uh, factorial of n, n and factorial of m you are getting 
what if if i want to have factorial of a set of values 10 values let us suppose factorial of 3 factorial of 10 factorial of 9 something like this so you have to write the logic again and again right so now what we can do is why should i write two times now or why should i write n times i want to write only once i want to call that logic n times how to make it let us see the other way i'm doing here you can see i don't want to make all these things like this okay so what i want to do is first i'll read i'll read what is n value once you read n value once you read n value what i want to do is i want to call a function here i'll explain everything about functions so first listen to this how i am writing fact of i'll write n so which in which means that i want to call a person who can execute and give the result of factorial of n so that is that person i call here as a function or method now i am calling the person to execute a fact function so how he will execute so fact of n i called so what is this fact of n let us suppose i am writing this is a main function so now i am separately writing a function called as fact so i am writing a function called as fact which takes what is this value n value the same has to be taken here let us write it as a why i'm writing it as a means it's some variable you can take it's whatever the n value you have taken the same value will be copied here so here n value if it is 5 the same copied for a so here n is called as actual parameter anyway i'll write it afterwards and a is called as formal parameter and also why i have written int a so because this is a variable n what is the data type int so here also it must be a also must be int here if n is a float a also must be the float now i want to write the logic here you can see what is the logic what is the factorial of a i'll take a variable i to iterate f equals to one uh, which to initialize to get the factorial now i want to repeat i want to write the for loop for i starts from a up to one i minus minus so what you need to do is the same logic f equals to f into i so once this part is done what you want to do you want to do is your value f not to be printed here of course you can print anyway if you want but what i'm doing is i want to return to the main function because i called to make this one in main function so that's why i'm returning the value f now what will happen here i just told like a random way for the beginners anyway for those who know about functions they can understand what i have written as of now but anyway for the beginners you can see what i have done for example if i take n value something like 5 so fact of n means here also it is called as fact of 5 once you call it fact of 5 will redirect to the function definition so it will redirect to the function definition where fact of int a what is a value whatever n value is there a also same so the a value is 5 now int i f equals to 1 so what is f value 1 i starts from a what is a value 5 so 5 up to 1 it will make iterations anyway finally 1 will become 5 1 into 5 it will become 5 into 4 20 20 into 3 60 16 to 2 120 120 into 1 120 so like this anyway you can ignore the last 120 into 1 which gives the multiplication with 1 which gives the same answer for any number so once you complete this for loop return f what is f value 120 will be returned to the main function which means which means here whatever the function you have written fact of n the value of fact of n what it is is 120 that 120 you can print directly or or what i want to do is i have taken a variable f anyway here what is f equals to fact of n so what is fact of n just now you got it 120 that 120 which means this fact of n value is 120 which 120 will be assigned to f now what is f value 120 yes you can print it anyway you will print that 120 so how to print that 120 so here i'm writing so print f percent tld comma fact sorry f so now f value is 120 you have you are getting so this is what you call it as writing a function and getting the value 
now anyway you have to follow here some rules like uh, you have written written f here so what is f data type integer that must be written here anyway i'll clearly uh, write all the things what you have to make how to write functions everything but i have i'm writing the program first because you have to know for the beginners exactly what it is function how why we are writing now when you write it as like fact as a separate block which you have written from line number 9 to 15 what are the advantages why should i write it as a separate block of course indirectly here we are calling it as a function so we have written a fact function what is the advantage of writing fact function separately so many advantages but the may basic of course main advantages i want to highlight here the first thing uh, let me go with this what if if i want to get factorial of another value which is m variable m i want to give so first of all anyway i'll read m value shall i write the logic again no because already we have written the logic here from line number 11 here as of now so this logic has to be called directly so instead of calling fact of m previously we called now i'll call fact of m so what happens if i call fact of m like this anyway i'll make it as f equals to fact of m now i want to print here uh, first print of percent tilde what is f value now if i write like this you can see i have written fact of n here uh, what is n value it will take and it redirects to the function and it will execute it returns f what is the f value here and you can get the answer now when you have m value again if you call fact of m that means same function has to be called again and you can execute that means you are written the function only once you are executing you are using the function two times not only two times what if if i want to make it the same function you can call n times that means the first advantage is reusability so the first one is uh, reusability which means you are writing once and you are executing n times for example i want to have a, a question like i want to find what are the prime numbers from 1 to 100 so what you need to do you have to write the logic for prime number and that logic has to be executed 100 times right so that's why i'll write a logic as a single block or function and that i'll execute 100 times so that is what we call it as a reusability anyway we'll see that program prime numbers program uh, next classes and the second part you can see when you write like this uh, there is a clear picture of what it means that means when you write it as a separate block completely you can segregate the program into two types you can clearly observe the first there is no confusion you will get it like uh, what is the variable value here when you consider the previous question when you take f equals 1 two times i have i made it because once the factorial of n you got it your f value is changed again you want to find the another factorial you have to make it here there is no problem like this because you made everything as a separate block that means everything when it goes it will reinitialize again as you can see in the 14th line so this is the main things that i can highlight with respect to functions now when you see this as a program now the terminology when you write with respect to the functions first of all anyway the program execution starts from function which is main function of course main is also a function execution where the program execution starts inside main of course you might call a function so here also i called a function fact of n here fact of m these are first called as function call so the thing is when you call a function then only that function will be executed without the calling it won't be executed first of all you must call inside any function or initially in main function then the function will be executed now when you call it it redirects to the function definition so the function definition start from 12th up to the end of this function so this is again called as function definition this is called as function definition now this function definition which gives complete picture about functions like what is this function will do the description of the function what the function will do so here fact in the sense what fact will do so fact will do like uh, it takes a value uh, for example a and it finds what is the factorial of a 
so this is function definition not only these two you will have one more thing to mention which is of course for some compilers it is optional i'm writing here you can see which is function declaration the third one is function declaration or function prototype so what it is so it is again you can say uh, take it as the same like int fact of int what it is actually so why i have written int fact of int followed by semicolon which means you sh should see the function definition and which you have to say the first part is i told you return type that means this int means return type fact means the function name and int means what is a variable inside the data type the data type of the variable if a is float here also here i have to write float if a is character here i have to write char if it returns float value here i have to write in this is we call it as function declaration or prototype now here the function declarations will tell the compiler that your program has not only main function there is another user user defined function which is defined the function name is fact and it takes only one variable of course the variable is initially not a declared right so that's why we don't mention and also here what is the data type you want that you can mention that is integer and once this function is executed is it returning anything if it no, won't return anything it give here you need to write void if it returns integer you have to write integer if it is float you have to write float that's what function declaration and function prototype and also one more time i'm telling this is optional in some compilers that's why if i execute this program it is executed without writing function declaration now not only that here n n is a value you have given here for example 5 you have given the value that's why this is called as actual value which is actual parameter now once you call this function this n value 5 is copied to a right if n is 10 a is 10 if n is 7 a is 7 so that's why a is called as formal parameter here a is called as formal parameter now here we have written int which is again i'm telling here which is a return type so this is what like this we can write a program with respect to functions now once you see all this terminology and also anyway i'll give the complete theory part here you can read it yeah anyway i'll execute this one let us see is it correct or not once again yeah you can see it is executing first i need to give the value i'll just zoom it uh, first i'll give the value 5 which is 120 you are getting something 8 uh i'll give and you got it for factorial of 8 so this is a simple example of how you can make the functions how to create the functions now we'll see whatever the terminology i explained through the theory part so first thing the definition you can see a function is a self contained module just now we have seen the fact function which is a self contained block or module of the program code which deals with a particular task so what is a fact function will do the function will do, the function will get the factorial of a given number that is one some task that particular task can be done by fact function that's what you write a function which has a particular task to complete so what is the purpose of a function so it takes it receives zero or more pieces of the data just now we have seen uh, we have seen uh, inputs what is n value you have just now given n value which is 5 like this is given of course here also i have given the same so the value to be taken and then operate on them so operate in the sense by taking the value what it will do operate means calling the function definition and finally return at most so returning something b the value it is returning okay so sometimes it won't return all that also we'll see what is that without returning how to make it even then how to write the functions also 